This brief video segment is on waterproofing your boots. Before you begin waterproofing the boots, it's a good idea to give your boots a thorough examination. Focus in on areas like the soles of the boots for wear of the tread. Then look at the seams of the boots. Are they stitched properly? Is it holding well? If it's not, consider having them repaired or even think about or consider replacing your boots. Then it's necessary to unlace the boots to expose the tongue so that you can wash it and clean it and also apply your waterproofing material. After you've removed all of the laces, take a bucket of clean water. It's not necessary to use water with detergents. Clean water will do just fine. The object of the game is to remove any loose dirt and dust or maybe accumulated mud that may be on the boots that would prevent the waterproofing from material from penetrating the uppers properly. Give them a thorough scrubbing. Use a soft sponge or a soft bristled brush to do this. Complete the cleaning process on both boots as needed until you have them both clean and as soon as you have them clean, set them in the sun so that they can warm and dry completely. You want to be able to have the waterproofing material to be absorbed completely into the uppers of the boot. In this example I've chosen a nice sunny day so that that will take place quickly. To waterproof my particular boots I've chosen a product called Nick Wax. There are a number of good products on the market so consult your salesperson at your local outfitter store for what products may work best for the type of boot that you have. Different products work better for hard leathers or suede or uh, some sort of combination of cloth and leather so consult them for the best products. Also be aware that as you apply the product to your boot some discoloration to leather in particular may occur because of the application of the waterproofing. Don't let this disturb you. It won't harm the boots at all. Uh, it just simply changes the color. Also be aware that when waterproofing new boots, uh, the new leather may absorb a good deal more of the waterproofing material than after a couple of applications. So it may be a good idea to uh, put a second application on new boots to make sure that all the material that you put on is absorbed properly. Take a little bit at a time and in this particular case it's a material you spread by hand and rub the material deep into the seams and all over the entire leather surfaces as needed so that the waterproofing material will penetrate the boot uppers as best as possible. After completing the first boot repeat the process on the second boot using the same care to get the waterproofing material deep into all of the surfaces of the boot. After applying all of your waterproofing material, set the boots aside in the sun and let the material soak into the leather. Because I'm using a wax based product, the sunlight helps warm the boots and makes the wax soft and it melts deep into the cracks and crevices of the leather. The boots have been sitting in the warm sunshine for about a half an hour now. Notice how they take on a glossy sheen, which means that the, the wax is melting gently into the leather uppers. This helps ensure that it seeps into all the seams and stitching, and it helps improve the waterproofing of the boot itself. All that's left now is to relace the boots, and they're ready for use again.